One of the great features about the Bamboo Lab series of printers is its wireless connectivity. This allows you to not only send prints wirelessly directly to the printer without having to mess around with SD cards or USB drives, but it also allows you to do things like monitor your print in real time either on your PC or your smartphone with the Bamboo Handy app, control the printer and even get notifications when the print is complete. Now, the way this feature actually works is that it doesn't send the prints from your slicer directly to the printer and it actually uses the Bamboo Cloud server to allow it to upload the print to there and that's then downloaded to your printer, allowing you to actually do it anywhere in the world. Whilst for most people this won't actually be a problem, the thing you probably have already noticed is that means all of your prints actually go through the Bamboo Lab server before going onto your printer. Now, you are not restricted to send in prints to the printer via this wireless connectivity, you can still use an SD card on all of their models. However, there is an option to set your printer into local network mode. This will allow you to still send prints wirelessly to the device, but instead of them going through the Bamboo Lab server, they will actually go straight to the printer, ensuring that your prints basically don't leave your network. By doing this though, you are cutting your printer off from the Bamboo Cloud and as a result of that, you're going to lose some of the wireless functionality. This in the past has been a lot more though than it has been today because Bamboo have just released a firmware update that does bring back some of the functionality that you may have lost in the past. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the actual process of putting your printers in LAN mode and show you the different functions that you do have between the normal and LAN functionality and hopefully by the end you'll be able to choose what option is best for you. Now just to go over the functionality that you do get when you're using it as it comes out of the box through the Bamboo Lab servers. Now this is completely free, you don't pay for this service at all, it's not an additional feature, it's all bundled with your printer and the features you do get will vary depending on your printer. For instance the X1 series does have more functionality than the P1 or the P1S and that is as a result of the different hardware. Now as I've said the real big feature in this is the fact that you can simply slice your models, send them to the build plate without having to mess around with SD cards or the USB and you can see you can simply select your printer from the list, click send and it will start. You then though also have all of the additional functionality. So for instance on the X1 printer you have the ability to view the webcam, you also have the ability to view what is located on the SD card as well and you can even download them to your computer and play them directly on your screen and you can even remotely access them via the Handy app in the same way downloading it locally allowing you to play it back. The app also has a lot of the functionality that you will find in Bamboo Studio. So for instance, we can see a live view of the camera on the printer. We can see the device status, control the printer, the temperatures and the axis, as well as do things like change the filament, load and unload from the AMS. On the P1S and the P1P, you still have access to the time-lapse camera and view of that live. However, what you don't have is the ability to view the SD card because that functionality isn't included in the printer. All of the printers have the same functionality with regards to controlling the printer and the AMS, but you need to understand that all of this wireless control and function is driven via the Bamboo Cloud servers. Now, as I've said, switching into LAN mode will mean your prints no longer go through the Bamboo Lab server, but this also removes some of the functionality because you won't have the ability to view your prints as well as get notifications whilst out in the field because you're not pumping that data through an external server. Now to use this mode the first thing you're going to need to do is reconfigure your printer. On the X1 series you simply need to go into the settings across to network and select LAN only mode. On the P1P and the P1S again you need to go down into settings select WLAN and under there select LAN only mode. Now if you already had your printer connected to Studio, when you go back in and go into Devices, you'll notice now that your printer is listed as in LAN mode. However, if the printer's not been connected, go into Devices, here you should see the printer listed and then you can simply input the code shown on the screen of the printer, allowing it to pay. What you will find once you're in LAN mode though is that much of the functionality you had before no longer works. For instance, we can't look at the live view camera, we can no longer access the SD card. On the app you will see that it is no longer shown, it'll no longer be on your list and even when you go into the app and then try to find the printer, you will see that the printer is in LAN only mode 
binding is prohibited and you're not able to connect. However, you do still have the main controls over the printer and the AMS and you're obviously still able to print via the app on your local network. However, in the latest version of the firmware for the Bamboo Lab X1, as well as the latest studio, you do have the ability to turn on the live view camera in the printer and view the print in progress. Unfortunately though, this doesn't work in the handy app and you can only do it via the Bamboo Lab Studio software. At the moment, this update to allow live view has only been released on the X1, but hopefully we may see that come to the P1P and P1S in the future. I've put together this quick chart just to show you the differences between the normal and the land mode, what actually changes and what does and doesn't work depending on the printer model. Now with regards to using this land mode, you've got to ask yourself what is the reason you want to do it? For instance, is it because you don't want your prints to go through the Bamboo Lab server or is it that you don't want to rely on having to have their server online for your prints to be able to function? To be clear, Bamboo Lab have had a few server outages which has resulted in people not being able to print. However, you can turn on and off that land mode quickly and easily and actually you can get the best of both worlds if you want to. If it's down to your prints being secure, you can either choose to keep the wireless modes as it comes out the factory and have all of that additional functionality like the Bamboo Handy app, but upload them via SD card. But if you didn't want the inconvenience of that, you can stick it in LAN mode, but then you are giving up some of that functionality like the Handy app and the ability on the P1P and P1S to view the live view. What's great is there are lots of options around this. Hopefully Bamboo Lab will continue to improve this feature. It would be great to have the Bamboo Handy app whilst on your local network and it would also be great to have the live view come to the P1P and P1S in the future as well. Now I'm really interested in knowing what you think about this new feature. If you have any questions please do put it in the comment section and I will try and answer it as well. Furthermore if you'd like to support the channel to allow us to keep making content like this in the future, there are links to both Bamboo Lab Store and Patreon in the description. The link to Bamboo Lab Store is an affiliate link and if you use that I will receive a small commission on anything you buy and the link to my Patreon allows you to support the channel. I want to say a massive thank you to all of my Patreons. We would not be able to keep buying products on this channel without your support. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. Please don't forget to give the video a like if you have found it interesting. Stay safe and I'll speak to you soon.